What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I'm going to talk to you about an interesting pen. <laughs> One that I have shown you the unboxing to already and that is this guy. The Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc, however you want to pronounce it, um, Heritage Collection Rouge et Noir. <laughs> Fancy name. <laughs> um, this guy <clears throat> surprised me in every way possible. I have seen uh, this version and the black version all over the internet. Um, and I was not expecting it to be so small. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like, my pinky <laughs> is bigger than this pen. Um, like, up next to the Aurora 88, which is not a large pen, Look at how skinny that guy is. Like he's got nothing going for him. He needs to eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> oh man, um, yeah, so, so skinny. And I, I just, I don't know. I was blown away when I opened the box. I could not believe it. Um, the nib is also very small, but I mean, I guess it's fitting in size co compared to, to the, the size of the pen. But it just blew me away, and I guess it's because the the ridges at the top um, of the finial, when you look in photos and things like that, I just assumed, and I guess this is the problem with assuming, <laughs> that it would be similar to the um, Heritage like 1912 uh, safety pen, um, where the nib actually disappears into the body, um, and that pen is much girthier. It's still not a big pen, um, but it has some size to it. Whereas this is teeny weeny. Um, if you've ever used uh, the Pilot Knight, <laughs> if you've ever used a Pilot Knight and that thin, 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 thin little pen, that is what this is. This is thinner than uh, a Lamy Safari. This is thinner than a Pilot Metropolitan. This is like, it's skinnier, I even think, than the Platinum. Uh, PTL 5000A or something like that, whatever that's called. It's thin. Have I spent enough time talking about that? <laughs> it just surprised me so much. Okay, moving on from that. Uh, I'm not a fan of the color either. It is the coral version. Um, so it's an orangish reddish uh, pen. Um, not a super huge love of the pastel vibes. Um, that's just a preference. Uh, you can get the like all black version as well. Um, nothing too crazy going on any of the finials, you know, the basic uh, Mont Blanc Peak. Um, they've definitely gone with a bit more of a vintage style cap with the exception of the snake, um, with the uh, yellowed um, snow, uh, snow cap um, and the old school uh, Mont Blanc logo on the clip. Uh, sorry, on the on the cap. The clip is the only thing that makes it um, stand out as far as uh, anything really goes. <laughs> um, so it's a coiled snake with emerald green eyes, which does actually complement quite nicely between the emerald green and the coral color. Um, I quite like that. And I do like the fact that it looks like the snake's body is moving when you move the clip. That's pretty cool. Um, another thing I really like about this um, is that the threads so the, the, for the cap to adhere to the pen um, is actually down by the the, uh, the nib so that there's no threads in your way when you're actually holding the pen and the threads actually stop your finger from slipping beyond um, to touch the nib. It's a very small grip section um, so my thumb rests entirely on the body itself um, which does help it from stopping to be too slippery because it is a metal section. It has a matte finish, so it's not as slippery as some, um, but those threads, which are relatively sharp, um, are going to stop your fingers from, from sliding down. So that is well thought out. I really do enjoy that. Uh, you cannot post this pen, um, so you are stuck with the length that uh, you're given which for me is long enough. Um, and I, I'm not a poster anyways, so to me it uh, doesn't really break my heart. Um, and it is a pretty heavy pen, despite the fact that it is teeny. Uh, it's probably like a pencil. I don't even know if I have a pencil in my house, but I'd be willing to say that this is about a pencil size. 
Um, but because, despite that, it's pretty heavy because it's all metal. Um, so it does have a good heft, uh, which does give it a few points for me. Um, the nib is still really cool looking. Um, it is literally a snake's head and on it, it says, uh, Mont Blanc 14, nope, 44, 44K AU 585. Uh, what the heck? And I can't read the other part. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty tiny, but it's fitting to the, the tininess of the pen. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think the the pen just, it, it surprised me because of the size. It is a piston fill, relatively small amount. Uh, you're pretty much getting the same thing as you would in a cartridge converter, um, despite the fact that this is piston. Um, but again, the, the pen is so small, so it can't really hold that much stuff. Um, but I do like the weight. Uh, I do like the feel. It is very soft, um, very smooth. Um, so that is very nice. Um, I'm, the look of it is growing on me. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Um, but I think that this is going to be sort of like a divisive pen. You either love it or you hate it. And I think I'm going to be one of those few people that are in between now. <laughs> um, I didn't like it the first time I looked at it. Like I said, the color is not for me. Um, I don't love the, the style of it. I certainly don't like the fact that it's so skinny. That's the biggest thing that I keep going back to, clearly. Um, but I do like the way that it feels. I like the weight of it. Um, I like the fact that you can get it in black if you love the pen, but the color is stopping you from doing that. Um, it's convenient that it's a piston fill, so you don't have to lose a cartridge or a converter. Um, but I just, the main thing is that I wish it was bigger. I just wish it was girthier. Um, this pen was loaned to me from a, a viewer who uh, met me at Scriptus. To, um, I think it was like last Sunday. Uh, so that was really, really nice of him, and I very much appreciate it. Um, so I do not get to keep this. I do have to send it back. <laughs> um, but for all of the shortcomings in the in the look of the pen, the feel of the pen, the, the the girth of the pen, because if I write with this for more than like twenty minutes, my hand does start to fatigue. It's a, it's too narrow for me. But that said, the writing experience, <sighs> she's nice. <laughs> she real nice. So let me flip the camera around, and I'm gonna show you what pretty much makes up for everything else. Okay, so once again, this is a fine uh, 14 karat gold nib. Um, I laugh at the word fine because this is not a fine nib. But that said, this nib feels amazing. This is one of the best nibs I have used in a very long time. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. It is so smooth. There's a teeny bit of feedback just mainly just you're feeling a little bit of the paper but it is so smooth and the ink flows out of here so well and you do actually get a decent amount of line variation this nib has a good amount of bounce considering it's super small um more bounce in this nib than i've ever had in any other mont blanc nib um reverse writing is scratchy um but you can definitely get down to what i would actually consider a fine um this nib i honestly would say borderlines like medium to broad uh so for example this is the obviously the mont blanc nib and then next to this is the fine nib from aurora which is also what I would consider to be on the broader side of fine. But this is also a fine nib uh, on the 88 here. Um, like I said, I would normally consider this to be on the, the broader side of fine. But look at the difference in that. <laughs> so this is definitely not a, a true fine. This is 
a beefy medium at best. <laughs> um, but oh my gosh, what an experience this nib provides. It feels so good. And honestly, it almost makes up for the shortcomings of everything else about this pen. <laughs> this nib, if this nib could be put on any other pen, oh my gosh, would you ever have a winner? I love it so much. Wow, do I love it. Okay, would I recommend this pen? Yes, to a certain audience. <laughs> um, it's like I said earlier, it's gonna be a love it or hate it pen. But this nib though, wow, I cannot say enough good things about that nib. So I'm just going to stop. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, oh yeah, ink is uh, Lamy Barrel, by the way. I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Hit the like button to tell, to tell me that you like it. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional uh, Q&A type style on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.